uh, that, that that one officer looks like he's 12 years old. Uh, what oh, happened? No, he, he was really, he was a nasty little fellow. I wouldn't mind if he drove his car into the marina. But uh -huh. I didn't like him. I like some of the others; they were fine. But you know, I just it's it's very strange. It's, it makes it. You know what the situation does is it makes bad people out of good people. Operative you know, word, little fellow. He has a Napoleon complex, probably. Yeah, I, I I didn't like him at all. He's a bully. Anyway. So, yes, I'm free. Hello. Well, that was a thought crime right there. Did you know that your own uh, Home Secretary, uh, Jackie Smith, is banning people who criticize the government or criticize open borders from coming to England? See, in the future, and they do this in Canada, when you show up, they say you're a thought criminal, so that's why you get arrested. I mean, is that good? I, I thought England had the Magna Carta, 1215. Uh, 1215, almost lunch. Um, I, do you know what? I... I, I'm only, I, I have to say to you, Alex, I'm only just waking up to, uh, to what's going on. I really am one of those people who's, who's taking their first tentative footsteps into awareness of uh, a world which isn't pretty and it isn't, it isn't necessarily being wow. run for the right reasons by the right people. And, you know, I'm just learning and I've spent, I've just, I've been in twice into a, in a police station for doing absolutely nothing. I mean, really nothing. And, you know, I, it's, it's a wake-up call for me, and I hope it's a wake-up call for some other people. And uh, and I, just, I on a personal note, I'd like to thank you for the work you're doing uh, in, you know, I mean, literally waking people up out of the slumber that they are in. Well, I appreciate you, and uh, I was talking to Paul Watson, who you emailed. We've got your email saying that you are aware of the radio show and have listened to it. How long have you uh, tuned into the radio show or seen the videos? Started watching, I mean, my wife, uh, Hannah, uh, she's a even bigger fan of you than I am. Oh, uh, criminal. She uh, started getting me into this. We started looking at some, uh, uh, you know, we watched Loose Change. You know, that's another key. You know, we watched your, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, oh, I forgot my name, the Global Conspiracy Countdown, whatever it's called. Isn't that terrible? I forgot the name of your movie. Um, uh, and, you know, a couple of those, uh, those videos started looking at that, started reading, started listening to the radio show. You know, and you've got some really interesting guests on, and, you know, you, you hear some new ideas and different perspectives, and, you know, it, it's, I mean, thank God we've got the Internet now. I don't know how long we're going to have it for in the, in the way that it, you know, the level of freedom of communication we have at this second. I don't know. That's, that scares me. But, um, you know, at the moment, it's a, this, is a, this is a time of, of awakening, I think, for, the, for, the, for everyone. I genuinely believe that, and I don't know how many people are going to, you know, wake up. I sorry, I keep saying that, but it is the appropriate metaphor, I think. Uh, I don't know how many are going to, and let's just hope it's enough. Well, the London Guardian needs to make a big deal out of this because, you know, we have the Times of London, we have Haaretz, we have all these big papers. In fact, I'm going to read those later on air. I thought I'd printed the Haaretz story. Just Google Bilderberg and Haaretz, or Haaretz, uh, and it's one of the stories down, uh, and it says, Global Elite Meeting to Chart Future of World Government. Uh, all these news articles I'm reading this morning and today, they're now admitting it. This is a big deal because in the past, I had the New York Times just eight years ago say I was insane. It didn't exist. Bohemian Grove didn't exist. Bilderberg Group didn't exist. When the groups had already written books and bragged about how they existed, and German presidents had written about it, and prime ministers had written about it, to, 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 to now have it be all over the European press, all over the British press, but not in the U.S. press. Last year was right. the biggest blackout we'd seen in a decade. Uh, newspapers showed up but said they weren't allowed to really write about it, so there was no U.S. press. Finally, Politico this year uh, did a Bilderberg report dealing with my film, The Obama Deception, and how uh, Barack Obama, uh, how Barack Obama was clearly there and, how they uh, helped kidnap the, the airplane full of media, telling him he was going to Chicago on his plane, but he didn't. And he went to Brook Street. Yeah. I mean, not Brook Street. He went to the Chantilly, Virginia Marriott. And Brook Street was 2006. So I, I would hope you get some of that in your article. That there's a history of intimidation, shooting at Jim Tucker. That there's a history of threats, uh, yeah. and that, and that, and that. What does this say about the global elite that they're meeting in secret, setting the financial future? You know. Uh, the Bilderberg Group has leaked, and, and the BBC has even reported that, that they set up the European Union covertly. That they're yeah, setting up. Yeah. I mean, this is a fact, sir. This is the group. If we arrested these people right now, and they've committed public crimes, uh, most of them have, or at least started an investigation, the whole new world order could end. 
Yeah. I mean, what's, what's fascinating, and it's such an obvious point that it's been made many times, uh, but it's worth making again, is if these guys were doing something benign, if they were trying to organize a softball game or how to cure cancer, they'd do it in an upstairs room for Starbucks. You know, there's no need to hide good acts away from the public. There's no need to hide good intentions. You know, it's, it's, it's such an obvious point, but it, I don't, you know, they've got a police helicopter flying around and there's, there's tinted windows and, and, you know, uh, why? It's, it's, well, we all know why, but if, if it was all so benign, I get the feeling it would be, you know, just a little bit softer around the edges. How would you like it. being shot at? Well, it's, you know, I, I, I pretty much got my fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Well, they do that. They also call your wife just in case they do it. Cause this happens to everybody's wives. They'll call up and go, hi, is, uh, hi, is, uh, Charlie there? And the wife will go, no, no, I'm serious. I'd, I'd call her before they do it. Sorry, I mean, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm laughing. But but, I, mean, I mean, they do this to most reporters. No, it's serious. They'll go, but I, I understand, but it sounds like a joke when I do it. The point is, hi, is Charlie there? No, he's not going to leave a message. Well, yeah, who's this? Well, this is his wife, Mrs. Skelton. That's impossible. I'm pregnant with his baby, and 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 we're and, and we and you know we're engaged. And then and then the woman will start crying and saying, "Well, I'll give you my you know." And then and then they'll call up. If you have a little dog in the backyard, they'll say, "I'm watching your little white dog right now." You're like, "Excuse me." And then your wife looks out the window and the dog's there and goes, "Yeah, and that's when I'm gonna stab you and rape you." So I mean, okay. it's the government. They're watching the dog while they do it. I mean, it's real, bud. These people call your call your women up. So I just want you to know these are hardcore criminals you're dealing with. I mean, take Zbigniew Brzezinski wrote a book two years ago bragging that what we already knew, he funded Pol Pot to kill 35% of the Cambodian population. These guys, these guys, Mr. Skelton, write books bragging about who they've murdered. You understand? Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's, it's a very interesting point what you're making there is that a lot of, a lot of the documentation, a lot of the ideology uh, behind, uh, you know, the, uh, the shift towards globalization. It's, it's been printed. It's, open, it's out in the open. It's kind of just so big. Uh, the point I was making, I think, in one of my pieces, it's so big and so much out in the open, people don't see it. They're not reading the right books. They're not seeing the thinking that's behind it, which is, you know, it's been published. It's, you know, there are papers, there are books, you know. Uh, the, the ideology is out there for everyone to see. And also, you know, if you can for one moment take your eyes off uh, you know american idol and the x factor uh you can you can see changes happening ever so slightly incrementally all the time around you but the problem is you, you, people just don't have to it's becoming I, I genuinely think it's psychologically impossible for a lot of people to notice and to think and to and to see i i, I do and it's that's one of the great horrors it's they've made they've rendered us stupid well, most reporters get those calls that, that go that actually go to Bilderberg, so I'm just giving you a warning to let her know since you're online to just well, just laugh Hannah, it off they, when they you call. Had your warning, Hannah. Okay, okay, so she's listening. Now, now uh, we appreciate your time. Do you have a website, books, writings, stuff that you want to point people at? Um, uh, uh, apart from yours, um, no, no, do you know what, um, uh, you know, I might start writing some more things on this subject. It's the first time I've, this is the first time I've tackled this subject in any way. And, you know, it's certainly, I didn't set out to Athens thinking I'd be detained twice by the police. So, I, you know, I might write some more. Then again, I don't want my dog threatened. So, you know, I might just go back to writing jokes about it. Well, anyone. no, they're not threatening the dog. They, they will tell you, oh, you're, you're there, just made yourself, it looks like, is that coffee or tea you're making there? Hello? Excuse me, you got the, and you're like, wondering how they're right. looking at you, and it's like, that's right, bitch. I'm going to stab you and rape you to death. How's that sound? So I'm saying, and they'll say it just like that, so I'm just trying to give you an idea who these people are. This, I'm telling you, Mr. Skelton, I've been down the rabbit hole. You're starting to go down it, and, I, and, 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 and you've, you've opened up your first step into a wider world, and there's good things and there's bad things about it, but I, I'm, I'm just letting the listeners know, too, for folks, you know, you ever wonder about the New World Order and who they are? These are murdering criminals. And these are the bankers, we have this from inside Bilderberg, that are engineering the financial collapse. We said that three years ago today. We said they were going to engineer it, how they would do it, what they do with the stock market. We broke it all down. They rule the planet. And so we are here. This is happening. This is going on right now. 